right now, the whole tech sector feels fraught because of the widely varying confidence of the customer. Next week is Dreamforce. It's the Salesforce hosted extravaganza that showcases the best of the software as a service industry, as well as some well-known luminaries. I don't know, you know, ex-president, CEO of the largest company in the world. You get the picture. Now, you know I'm a huge believer in the cloud. Big companies use Salesforce to improve service and build trust with their customers. So they keep hiring Salesforce in the event of a, slow, a worldwide slowdown. Or do they? Same goes for ServiceNow, Adobe, Workday. These cloud plays actually save their customers money through digitization, which is why I think they'll hold up just fine. That's why I think Salesforce is still a buy, even though it's running into Dreamforce. But you know what? Now I'm worried. I am a little worried about Workday. That last quarter, they had trouble closing deals. Same, same rhetoric I heard on the Cisco call. It's not good. So then you've got what I call the hybrids. HP Inc. is under assault by Carl Icahn. He wants them to merge with Xerox. We all know HP is a big consumer brand, but it's got some gigantic corporate orders. And the, those orders can easily be cut back. You can just delay them. Uh, uh, that's what we saw with Cisco. If it weren't for the takeover talk, I think the stock would be dramatically lower. Micron's a bit of a hybrid, too. When we spoke to CEO Sanjay Marotra, he said a lot of good things about demand for storage and consumer products. His chips are the backbones of all sorts of devices. Cameras, phones, that kind of thing. But Micron also has large enterprise orders, so it's tough. That's why the stock's in no man's land. Finally, you have Apple, which is unique. While Apple has some enterprise work, it's really a classic consumer product play in an environment where the consumer is king. And that's why Apple stock has been able to roar. Uh, it's up 66% for the year. This is strictly a know-your-customers market. The bottom line, until we deal with this macro uncertainty, stocks like Cisco and its colleagues could be stuck in neutral at best or have some more down days or weeks at worst. The market wants nothing to do with tech companies that serve the enterprise. Oh, but does it love the consumer? And that is the end of the story. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.